Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so uh, yeah, things are getting pretty interesting in this game, let me just tell you. Uh, weird, crazy AI starting to come out after us. Uh, now we're finding, um, what is it there? Oh. Hey Camus, are we low on fuel? Kind the of. The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. I Give doubt me it. Give me nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Hey, can we just go down? We can't go down? Really? How come we can't go down? Oh, shift is down. <laughs> so we're gonna get fuel at the same time. Here. E. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going in for repairs, anyways, right? <laughs> Screw it. All right, so we're gonna go off to Emmett's, I guess, before we're gonna go hand this card back in. So yeah. Anyways, to what I was saying, like you know, the only things what we're doing. Uh, 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 so we don't get like killed or anything here. All right. Uh, down up. All right, so yeah, what was I saying here? Yeah, the things that we've been doing. Okay, so we had the crazy AI that was kind of going after us, um, asking us weird questions about, you know, who's the monster? Is it like, you know, the people or whatever? And we lost a good robot friend in the last little while. Uh, he was willing to do all kinds of good stuff for us. Um, what do we do first? Let's go give that money back to the other one first. That could give us extra money for repairs, right? Anyways, um, there's just all kinds of weird things that are happening in this game and I don't know man I I'm loving it I really like it actually we're gonna go do repairs first by the looks of it uh, no yes no uh, oh okay this isn't it I thought it was really close it's over here uh, right above me all right that's good oh wow oh there we go oh geez I'm having a hard time driving today boy Woo. All right, so where is the CEO? It must be over on the other side. All right, so I'll go collect a few things and I'll meet you over where the CEO is. Awesome. All right, so we're getting close to that uh, the place at CEO. Where is it? Right here, I guess. Probably haven't hit that button in the com. Hi, I have a card to return. It's Mr. Spaculus. Please place the card in the mail receptacle. Is there a reward for this or something? Please hold. <laughs> we should have just kept the card, Camus. That's what I said. You did not. <laughs> Please note the authorization code for Mr. Spacula 78D54. What do I do with this? Use this code at a holocash machine to claim your reward. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay. All right, so let's go find the nearest holo cash machine. Um, there's none here. All right, so I guess we'll uh, we'll go back to the car, and then we'll go to the garage, and maybe we'll find a a thing along the way. That was kind of odd. All right. So maybe we'll get more than seven hundred and something. All right, so we're at a holo cash machine. Let's see if we can. Uh, Get this. Bob Fold. Oops. Oops, oops. How do you go back? Cancel. Alright, let's try that again. Seven, eight, D, five. Oh, I thought I hit the five. Anyway. A thousand bucks. Well, you know what? That was a lot better than, than what it was, right? Let's uh take a thousand bucks. There we go. Awesome. Well that was worth it. 700 ah see you know sometimes being being good is better than being bad right you know, sometimes sometimes all right so let's go see uh, Emmett and see if we can fix our fix our ride I think that was a smart move doing that that was smart all right here we go at Emmett's garage let's see what we got let's see what uh, the damage is hi Emmett do you remember me sure I do you tried to catch old Joe you're from Skypunk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. 
Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look then. Awesome. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest neither. Oh, that's I won't pretty good. bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's debt. Thank you. That's pretty fair. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And it's done. Awesome. What, seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Hmm, whatever. Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Ender City Derby. Wow. That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Oh, no. Cora only knows what happened to that road junction. It led them all straight into the sea. Oh. He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, kid. Don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. Well, that's crazy. Oh. All right, so Joe died because of Cora. We all know that. We have another incoming message oh. request. From? It's routed through CloudPunk, but the user ID only says customer feedback. <laughs> oh, no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? You the have same to. as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. Wicked. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Camus. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. All right. So are they going to call? What's going on? I'm glad you accepted the call. There we go. And I'm glad you brought me back to my darling husband. Wicked. You're welcome. Did you need something? Not at all, dear. We just wanted to express our thanks personally. The thing is, you know, I know I can be a bit of a snob. True. Um. No, no, it's true, dear. <laughs> but you didn't need to choose me. You could have saved several of those other poor souls. True. But you brought my love back to me. It's fine. It wasn't a big deal. Well, we just wanted to let you know if there's ever anything we can do for you. My apartment is too small for everyone living in it now. You could give me yours. Oh, yes. That's brilliant. So witty. But in all seriousness, if there is ever anything we can do for you, please let us know. You can call us on any Thursday afternoon next month, as long as it's before three. And just make sure to message the day before to let us know. We'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, my God. Yes, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's going to be helpful. The HOVA alert subsystem. He seems very angry. Oh. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. Wow. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, okay. never mind. That was Just a tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. Which I didn't is? hear anything. He says it is a light. Nice. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. <sighs> he says it is mandatory that you... D no, I don't want to know. <laughs> Driver 14FC, are you there? R Ronnie, uh, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another cloud punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and... Oh, Is nice. this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's heartless. All right, on my way, Control. 
Oh, nice. We get somebody else's earnings for the evening. That's pretty sweet. That's a good deal. I just hope that never happens to us. All right. So let's go and uh, pick up this a driver in distress. Here's Baz. So let's go see what's going on here. Oh, wow. That was crazy lighting. Ah, uh, thank Cora you made it. Motherfucking androids, man. <laughs> Can you believe this shit? No. All right. No. Back to the HQ quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. Awesome. Wow. Well, that's going to be a fun conversation then. I can just imagine. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to. It was just another normal night in this goddamn city. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. You know that, and I know that. I can deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android hit me. That's how they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Oh my androids god. <laughs> are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the mm. normal way. But they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor oh androids stay god. right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? <laughs> the accidents, it's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Nice. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Korra is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. She's pretty smart, I'm gonna have to tell you, man. She's pretty smart. Hey, boss, wake up. We're here. Uh, uh, get, get away from me. Don't touch me. <laughs> There's absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. <laughs> right, right. Mm. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Uh -huh. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. Nice. I'll see you later, 14 FC. Remember, don't trust them. Right. Later, Boz. Don't trust them. Hmm. All right, all right. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night, and that's saying something. If I hmm. warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Darnest thing. We got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired him. They can do that? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in Navalis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial or something like that. Oh, shit. One of their employees. <laughs> Bad move on Baz's part. Seems like he painted a target on his oh, own back. Man. They really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. Oh, that's just too funny. We need you to pick up someone again? Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> nah, just kidding. Uh, we have a package waiting for you at Cloudpunk HQ, though. Hilarious. Oh, that's freaking awesome. I was just there for crying out loud. Alright, let's go back. Oh, that was pretty funny. Here we go, picking up our package. Let's see what's going on. 
Where is this one going to? I meant to ask you, are you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. <laughs> well, at one point you must have loved playing music as much as I'd love to drink this sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwagan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats. But McSwagan. Really new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. <laughs> what was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. <laughs> <laughs> I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. <laughs> Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. Oh. I'd love okay, I thought I'd be able to fly over that. Afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this chemist. I think we're being set up. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Camus? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security. The system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, sure. we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. Oh. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five. Four, three. Camus, I can't steer. We're going to crash. Two, one. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with oh, a magic virus. What the hell? Laura, why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. Nice. I would speak with you. Okay, you good timing. The package. <laughs> I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. Oh, nice. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this is getting weird. Oh, wow. What timing, eh? What timing? I'm going to have to tell you. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So that was another close call, you know, but we'll go off to Secor and see what the hell's going on. Oh, looks like we're going down into the slum thingies there, the the undergrounds. Interesting, interesting. Now this Cora, Cora character, man, like we got some kind of tie to her for some reason. She really, 
She really fancies us. I don't know why. But hard to see in here. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, looks like it's this way. Okay, so I'm assuming I gotta park here maybe? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's park our vehicle here and take our little jog over and see what's going on with uh, old Cora. This is the same place we came the first time? I think it is, eh? Yeah, yeah, it looks like the first time, first place we came when we met her. Alright, let's go speak with Cora. Old Terminal. I'm here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. I know. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. We know that. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? Hmm. I am patches on upgrades. Systems on systems. Mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. True. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. My other Together half. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. <laughs> she is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... Are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems <laughs> on systems. I don't remember how I was created, mm. or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems. A sunrise trapped in a cage. I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes, and ventilation. Engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow, and expand. I have swollen, and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids, and even human life in the city. That's intense. I am an emergent being, and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. Hmm. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Rania. Hmm. Goodbye, Cora. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Camus, you there? I'm just yes. going for an upgrade. I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. <laughs> she sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an av point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Mm, true. True. So let's see if we can get up to this uh, important place and see if we can go to the. Can get me control on the comm? Calling. Calling. I guess he's busy with. Hey, Rania. Mess. Everything okay, control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? 
Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit, am I fired? Fired? Goddamn kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? Oh man, we're gonna lose control. No. Oh. No, you didn't. Crap. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. Oh, my final make delivery. Sure don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Top of the spire. I wish I could see that. I wish you could see huh. it too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid. But the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Huh. Ben. Radio. My name is Ben. Control. Ben, come in. He's Aww. offline now. I think we are on our own again. Jeez, he finally gave us her name. Oh. All right. Well, let's get up to there. Let's hopefully this is not our last mission, because like there was still some stuff we could have done in the game. I hope, but I don't think it's the end. What was that, Camus? Status. All systems are fine. It was strange. Hmm. We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would lag. <laughs> well, try and control yourself. We don't mm. want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? Huh. The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Interesting. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the ascender soon. This is it. Interesting. All right. So we got a few more things here on the ground. Might as well pick them up. Let's see what's going on here. And what's this? Oh, another card. Oh, oh. All right, so let's do this, man. Let's go up the spire. Let's. Wow. Crazy. All right, lift. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're hmm. right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. <laughs> Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. True. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are mm. you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up. Good stuff. Never give up. Wow. We're on the top. This is what I'd like to be on the top of the world, huh? Wow. Beautiful. Nothing but stars. Wow. Awesome. Awesomely awesome. Alright, so where are we going here? JK. How's it going? You were almost too late. Nice to meet you, too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Hmm. Cora was talking to you, too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Mm -hmm. Me, too. I understand you're a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. Well, I don't think I so. I don't think so. 
Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me, too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? No Looking clue. down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision <laughs> together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. Mm -hmm. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? We do. Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. It does. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. Hmm. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This That's new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now. Her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, fades, and dies. Interesting. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Korra fails us. So what do we hmm. do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free? Or do we overwrite Korra and replace her? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Cora believes it still functions. It mm -hmm. is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Navalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Mm. Cora's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Cora's daughter, or... Or Cora dies and her daughter replaces her. The broad spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis. But doing so will eradicate Cora completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how wow. do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Cora's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter, and all of us, or saving them both, while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. Okay. That's pretty intense. Okay. So we can choose to send the children, the child to another city or overwrite Korra. Huh. You see, overwriting Korra could save the city. It could also put it in more peril too, because you're also leaving it with a child that has no idea what it's doing in a big ass city so i think we're gonna go send the kid to a different city i think that would be probably the best thing to do let's try that and so it is we emancipate cora's offspring and doom our city not you necessarily think this is a mistake no i agree with your choice it has to be like this go ahead the drive is loaded what now we wait Oh. How will we know if we made the right choice? We won't. Do you think we just passed our problems along to another city? Infected someone else? I don't think so. Cora is not a disease. What is she then? I don't know what she is to us, but I know what we are to her. Her subjects? Her cells. Hmm. So that's it? What do I do now? You should return home. This is your first night working in Navalis, no? Yes. You look tired. <laughs> I feel tired. 
Hmm. We are not friends. We never will be. But when you return, you may find me to be less terrible than I seem. Oh. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> Goodbye, JK. <laughs> Goodbye, Rainia. Okay. Wow, decisions above the clouds. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so uh, how did we get in here? <laughs> I don't even remember. Did we walk by this guy? Anyways, we'll uh, we'll take the tour. Okay, so there, that's it right here. All right, so that was uh, that was crazy. Let's check the map. Feels oh. like something's changed out there, kid. Uh, no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's that's a new record. Nice. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? <laughs> nice, nice. No. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be taking a long break. Oh, no. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid? I locked Corp Sack out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I uh, leaked your conversations. Corp Sack found out about uh, Rio. Oh, no. He won't be a problem anymore. Oh, nice. And I'm... Not in trouble anymore. Excellent. If someone put a good word in for you uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. Sweet. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> nice. Are nice. you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. Oh, no. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My oh. daughter's face, Melissa's laugh. I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. Well, that the sucks. memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind they died a long time ago and i died with them a hmm. big accident explosions falling into the sea the details are blurry i was back at work before i had stopped screaming i am so tired now i just want to rest hmm. they brought you back from the dead that's insane to uh, clear my debt not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the debt corpse. Wow. I guess that's why I liked you so much from the start. My heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. That's it's insane. not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take <laughs> care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Oh, ben? that sucks. Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Nice. Goodbye, Rania. Oh, ben! that's so sad. <laughs> well, we just lost control. Oh my god. Oh my god, we just lost control. Alright. That's it, everybody. We're gonna end the episode there. In the next episode, we're gonna go back home. See what happens. Oh my god. Everything is going to end. Is this the last episode? Was it the end? Is it not? 
we'll find out. Take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.